Our economy is in crisis. People are suffering and our government says that bold action is required. So we're diving in head first to get things back on track. But what are we diving into exactly? It all started in September of 2008 with a $29.5 billion bailout of Bear Stearns. That was a lot. Even after you adjust for inflation, it's much more than other huge projects from our history like the Hoover Dam or the Panama Canal. But still, it wasn't enough. So we committed another $97.2 billion for Bank of America, $97.4 billion for auto companies, and $112 billion for AIG. That's almost as much as the $115 billion we spent to rebuild Europe after World War II. Add in another $139 billion for GE and $235 billion for Citigroup. And that's $710 billion to bail out banks and big corporations. But that's just the start. We're spending another $300 billion for homeowners who can't pay their mortgages, which is slightly less than the cost of World War I, but not as much as the $400 billion we're spending to prop up Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. These numbers are simply huge. On their own, any one of these programs would have ranked among the largest in U.S. history, falling just behind record holders like the New Deal or the Iraq War. But add in the additional $700 billion we're spending to buy up bad loans through TARP and the $787 billion stimulus package. And in total, the government has already spent over $4 trillion on this crisis. That's eight times more than the New Deal and it even beats the previous all-time record holder, World War II. Unfortunately, that $4 trillion is only the beginning. The government has committed to spend up to an additional $7.8 trillion over the next few years, which will bring the grand total to over $12 trillion in new spending. This is a freefall. Adjusted for inflation, that's more than three times the size of World War II. It's 24 times the size of the New Deal. This is the largest spending program in U.S. history. By far. And it's drowning us in an ocean of debt. Reckless spending is what got us into this mess. Is more spending really the answer? Look before you leap. Visit StopSpendingOurFuture.org.